Jabber. Bob? What's going on, man? What are you doing? You always got that nice little laugh when I call. It always yeah, makes man. you feel good. I'm happy, man. You make me happy, buddy. I make you happy? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know if that's, if that's like, oh, shit, here comes Javron, <laughs> fucking joker. No, man, <laughs> fucking absolutely not, man. What's going on? I just like, I like talking on the phone. I don't know. It's because I give you all those nickels, man. That makes you happy. Get <laughs> 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 all those nickels put in your book. You get, you get excited a about that. A nickel a day. Nickel a day? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I love Keeps that the dentist shit. away. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on, man? What can, um, I, uh, what can I do for you? Not much, buddy. Um, you just calling to chew the fat, or? No, nah, chew the fat. Get out of here. Do you have an axe to grind? Or, uh, an axe to grind? Uh, Q4NP is my axe to grind. Q4NP. <coughs> yes, sir. What do you got? Uh, look and uh, see what you, if you sell better than that EOL number. Um, if I sell better than the EOL number? You got 127 on there. Oh, that's for just October. I mean October, yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say Q4. I apologize. No. Um, Come on. I'm kind of stuck there. Actually, you know, there was a 126 bid on the block forward with no... No offers, so you know. See this fucking block forward. It, we're getting this thing set up. I just don't have it yet, so I can't see that. Can't October's see. got uh, the block forward's got 126 bid. Yeah, they closed at 11 o'clock. It had it before they closed, and now they close at 11 o'clock. That's so stupid. Well, see, block forward's closed, man. So now you don't have a bid there. Yeah, I know, but uh, <laughs> I want to say 127. I think, man. I mean, I, I don't particularly. <coughs> I don't, you know, particularly want to sell it that much, you know. So I'll just keep. Yeah, you know, keep my two way out there, and that's all right for right now. <coughs> you gonna stay where you're at, then? I'm just gonna stay where I'm at, but I think there should be somebody. There, people offered better earlier, weren't there? Didn't seem like anybody wanted it. What the? Uh, I mean, it didn't seem. Yeah, it seemed like people wanted to get rid of it earlier. Yeah, I don't uh, think anybody's doing anything, to be honest with you. Yeah, I know. I haven't really. Done, <laughs> I haven't done a lot on EOL today. I'm not. Uh, not much at all, really. I think we've done a few things with the NUL, but that's... Yeah, you, uh, you guys are, like, probably my biggest customer today on EOL, like three three trades, I think. Yeah. Um, two, or, two or three trades, yeah, a couple of trades, yeah. We're the biggest customer on EOL. For <laughs> <laughs> on Enron Online, yeah. It, it, EES is our biggest customer on Enron Online. It's beautiful. I know. Too bad we can't participate in that little uh, Sony Home and Entertainment Center. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice if we could, like, try to win that? Bye. Bye. Hello? Hello? Yeah. This Bob? Yeah. Sue. Sue, what's going on? I need your help. What? Do you need a life preserver? <laughs> I can throw you one. What's going on? Uh, this is the time of year when government affairs has to prove how valuable it is to Kenley and Jeff Skilling. Okay. So um, I wanted to get some estimates from you on how much value we brought to ENA and I specific things. For example. Delaying going to the 250 price cap until August 1st. I think the original vote was June 22nd. Right. So I guess we delayed it for a month because that was supposed to go into effect July 1st. Mm -hmm. And so we delayed that for a month. Is there way the other thing that happened was um, they took a vote in March to lower the price cap, whether or not to lower the price cap from 750 to 500, and that failed. Right. So we kept it at 750 until August. No, let's see. It went to 500 on. But was that government affairs or was that parquet? Like. No, give me a break. So parquet had nothing to do with it. Well, he voted. <laughs> <laughs> see, I don't really. Um, when do you need somebody? Tomorrow morning. It just has to be a morning? guess. It doesn't have to be accurate. Yeah, okay. Um, God, I really no, he, well, I mean, we don't take full credit, but just some right. number. And, uh, yeah, he was involved, and I was involved. Okay. I mean, I was involved a lot. In so him. what do you think? How much do you think it's worth? I have no idea. Okay. That's my answer. <laughs> okay. So the two things that happened, we kept it at 750 from March 22nd to, when did they vote for 500? July... No vote. 500 on July. No. Um, July yeah, 7th? July, like, yeah, July, July 7th. 6th or something, yeah. or 7th, they went to 500. Yeah. And then August 1st, they went to 250. Or as of August 7th, it went to 250. Right. All right, well, let me uh, let me think about it, and um, I'll talk to Rector and see what, 
see what he thinks. No, I've got more, so just write those down. Okay. That's one thing. Um, getting FTRs released. That took like three years. Okay. So do we make money on that? That would be another one. Okay. Um, the ISO information release, which finally started happening in the last month or two, does that help us make money? If so, can you estimate? Okay. Um, hi, Dave. Uh, let's see. And I guess I'll talk to Chris Foster about load participation. I don't know if anything ever came from that. And let's see. Inter do we do it? Did we ever do anything with inter SC trades? Because I worked on that for several years trying to get that. Um, I mean, it's still not even. Uh, so nobody does anything yet. with it. No, I mean, I don't think they've even come out with it. Uh, I don't think they've even started it yet. No, no, it's all done. I, they put it in place uh, in April. It supposedly put it in place no. in April. No, they haven't. No? No. No, you're talking about inter SC trade adjustments. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I um, worked on getting that and also inter SC trades in the first place for ancillary services, but nobody ever uses them, right? Okay. Well, that's what I'm asking. Do you uh, have any yeah, value from that? I, I don't know. Okay. Um, <clears throat> congestion management, I don't know. Maybe we should wait till next year for that one because we got a new program through the ISO which is going to release 100% of FTRs and various other things, that, but it won't go into effect until it has to be approved by FERC and everything. So I guess we'll wait on that one until okay. next year. Uh, and I don't know about any operational things. Okay. Oh, another one. Do you know when you started overscheduling load and making buckets of money on that? When? Yeah. I mean, that's part of the uh, tariff. I don't, I, don't know when we, I don't know when exactly we started doing it. Well, at some point you figured out you should do that and make money. Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering when, because I mentioned it to Tim as something he should do, and I just don't know if he was already doing it or I, yeah, I, I gave him know. the idea. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know when. I don't okay. know when we started doing that. Okay. It's been a while, though. Okay. Um, okay, so what else? Those are the things. Okay. For uh, you guys. All right, so let me, uh, let me think about it. I'll talk to Rick a little bit and then uh, give you a call back. Okay, great. All right. Thank you. See you Bye.